I'm Sulian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video I show you how to paint asparagus in oil color. Enjoy! So let's talk about this expensive vegetable called asparagus, which I was not used to eating growing up, but I've added, to, added it to my diet in the last 10 years, and I'm happy to say that I'm pleased with it. It is very tasty when made the right way. It comes in different colors, purple, white, and green. I guess green is the most commonly known or used. In general, I find it fresh when it's green. So it's rich in a lot of vitamins and it is very healthy. The one downside is that it has a lot of vitamin K, so people who take a blood thinner need to be careful before adding a lot of it to their diet. But besides for that, it has a lot of folate, which is vitamin B9, important for cell development. And some say that it can lower the risk of depression. And that's too complicated for me to talk about. This is not a medical journal. But suffice it to say that if you're eating good food like asparagus, you shouldn't be depressed. It can also reduce the risk of stroke and help with cardiovascular health since it has a lot of fiber pot potassium and antioxidants not only that it has phosphorus iron vitamin k and some calcium which are all great for your bones And it can help prevent cancer. So it seems like there are lots of benefits to this vegetable that not everyone consumes on a daily basis. It's like one of those vegetables that you find at a fancy exotic food channel. For people who are on interesting diets like vegan paleo etc but if you can find it consider adding it to your diet since when made it the right way it is delicious and one last thing it's good for digestion so you see these little triangle things on the sides, and they're all bunched up around the top. It looks like a spear, which is actually called a spear. So I, I drew these, I painted these triangles going up, and the top is like a bunch of them that are clustered, and they get smaller towards the tip. And these are the parts of the asparagus that contain the insects, if you're not interested in consuming those. So once you remove all these little triangles and the top clump of the spear, your vegetable should be considered insect-free. And it's still delicious. So if you're wondering how you could possibly eat it, you can either steam it for five minutes and add some garlic and olive oil, and I say salt and pepper, if you can have those two. You can saute it, you can, you can roast it wrapped up in foil for about 20 minutes. It's great with these olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, 
black uh, pepper and salt. Perhaps cheese. Eggs. Altogether, it's a delicious vegetable, and I enjoy it the more simply it's prepared with those ingredients. Nothing too complicated. It stands by itself as a, a proud addition to a menu. So here you see that most of the spear is a bright green towards the bottom. It is a little darker. And it's those bottom ends that are woody and should not be eaten. Usually you can figure out where exactly to snap off the bottom is the place where it snaps off the easiest. Obviously not too close to the top since you want to have something left of your vegetable to eat. But if you give it a try towards the bottom and it gives, then that's the part that you shouldn't use. So those thicker parts on the bottom are usually darker and further up it's usually brighter green. And to get this sort of purplish color of the triangles and the spear, I actually used some Indian red. Which is altogether not really purple. But I found that to be a good match. Interestingly enough, asparagus is in the family of flowers. It's a perennial flowering plant species. And it's classified in the lily family. Asparagus comes from the word sparrowgrass. Interesting. Would have thought of that one. So hope you enjoyed me watching me plant it. And I hope that you enjoy adding it to your diet. So, thanks for watching. And have a wonderful day.